Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. This is, of course, Young Money Investing, and it's Sunday afternoon, so it's time for yet another weekly technical analysis. Really quick, if you're not subscribed yet, just take two seconds, go down, hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss another analysis and you always know what's going on in the markets. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the charts. All right, starting off on a daily time frame for the Russell 2000. Um, you can see we kind of came down, touched this line in the last week of December, kind of bounced off it a little bit and have just been going sideways ever since. Um, really nothing too crazy happening. Um, I wouldn't really expect any shut move from Russell um, until either we break this 1923 line or this long term support down at 1655. Um, kind of just really expecting some sideways action. Um, I would like to see the interaction with this 50 moving average, the blue line, and then potentially this 200 moving average as well. Keep an eye on those, those could force us lower. And if we do break this support at 1734, I would expect it to drop back down to that 1655 like I just mentioned. That's pretty much it on the Russell. Let's go ahead and jump over to the NASDAQ. <clears throat> Kind of the same story here, a um, little bit of sideways action. Uh, we had some a pretty, pretty nice move the past uh, couple of days of December, but in this year, really not too much happening. Um, this purple line is the 20 moving average, so we'll see an interaction with that and potentially the 50 this week as well. Um, so I'd like to see if we can break through both of those. Uh, we can come potentially retest our descending triangle, maybe somewhere around 11,770 or somewhere in that vicinity. Um, of course, if they do force us lower, there's really not too much lower we can go. We'd have to break the bottom of our triangle. And should that happen, um, you know, get, get, you know, get your sellers ready because there would be a lot of money to be made. But you know, we got to see this interaction play out, see what the moving averages are going to do, see what price action is going to do, um, you know, and just just keep an eye on things. We're not going to jump into anything quite yet. Um, I like to see how things are going to play out. Even if we were to break this line, I would be waiting for a retest of it first. Um, I, I think it's it's easily possible that you see some type of false breakout. And then we move back into this triangle for another touch off of the descending line. And then, you know, potentially even a break above or at that point coming back down. So let's jump into the Dow Jones now. The Dow has not been trading me so nice recently. I talk about uh, you know how much fun I have trading the Dow. I had a bad time last week, but I still made a little bit of money. So you know, all good things. Um, we did get above our supply zone, so that's pretty bullish. Um, last week I was talking about we need to get above this 20 moving average and then potentially the supply zone. We did both on Friday, so. Um, I think that if you wanted to kind of, you know, eyeball a little swing trade right here, you could take about two and a half percent. That's about 750 points if you're trading futures. Um, and if we do get up to this line, I mean, you have to see, we might, we might bounce off. This is not super, super stiff resistance. Um, but you you do always have to be careful when you're dealing with a previous top in a movement so those tend to be respected um but if you wanted to kind of take you know a, a piece of uh, this move up to 34 three, four, five, well that's a fun number 34 three, four, five. um if you wanted to take a piece of that move up i think that you could find some some pretty solid risk to reward in that area so take a quick peek over at the dxy dollar still just kind of consolidating in this zone kind of what i expected but you can see that we had a pretty ugly day on friday so keep an eye on this as this continues to move lower i do expect stocks and other assets to increase in price we do have this 50 moving average coming down um so if we were to kind of catch a lift on the bottom of the channel move back up you'd want to watch that interaction very closely and see how it plays out now for 
the trade of the week a couple of weeks back, I mentioned Meta Platforms, better known as Facebook. It's happening. Um, this is the move that I was talking about. Here's our ascending triangle. We just broke above it. We have a little bit of doji consolidation right here. Um, I think this is a fantastic time to long. Um, if you're buying the stock or buying options or whatever, my profit target would be about 155. And if you wanted to put some downside protection in, I would say about probably about 115. So that will give you some pretty solid risk to reward there. Um, I like 155. It kind of, you know, acts in confluence with this 200 moving average coming down, which is always a big test for a large cap stock like Meta. Um, and also we had this support line back here in August of 2022 that got broken. So I would expect it to turn into resistance now. So, um, you know, go back, watch my previous video. Um, uh, it, it'll give you more details, but this is, this is, you know, this is the breakout right here. So if you want it to long, and again, this is not financial advice, but if you want it to long, I think this would be a good time to do it. All right. That's it for me, guys. This one is uh, short and sweet. I love you. You guys are the best. Peace out.